This is Andy Perloff, Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in Leeds and I'm joined by trainer Mark Tibbs. Mark, as always, firstly, how are you? Lovely, Andrew. Yourself, you good? All good, I'm all good. It's the first time we've caught up in person for some time. Um, yeah. Obviously, a reason behind that, Ebony Bridges challenges for her second world title against yeah. Maria Cecilia Roman. Talk to me about this fight, Mark. What do you know about Roman? What challenges will she bring to Ebony to try and deal with? Well, Roman, she's got, uh, she's got like experience like second nature experience which uh which for her with uh, someone of ebony uh, like if she's got ebony in front of us you know she's she's quite easy to read normally ebony would be easy to read she's long and rangy and uh so we've got to negate that uh with uh ebony's limited experience it's uh, it's going to be you know that's what we've worked on we've worked on keeping her compact staying small but beyond that shoulder not showing her jabs and she's got to get inside that range and, and, and do what she does best. She's a fighter, Ebony Bridges. She's a, you know, she's a fighter. But I like to think that we've uh, compacted her up a little bit, smoothed her out a little bit. So, and learn, and learn, learn to have clean exits and clean entries, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Something I was about to say, Mark. You know, as fans, we've watched Ebony's career so far. We know she likes to be uh, all action, entertaining, throwing punches in bunches, as it yeah. were. Are you hopeful that? She, just, she doesn't become reckless on Saturday night and she does try to show more of her skill set in this fight. Do you feel like it's necessary for her to do so? Well, I, I like her style, to tell you the truth. I like her style and uh, her style is going to work against this style. You get me? But she still has to be a bit more compact, a bit more compact and a bit more measured, not pulling not pulling and loading and, 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 and showing everything. You know what I mean? So, so that's what we've been... That's what we've been training her to do <laughs> not showing too much and uh, obviously get behind a dominating left jab yourself and ebony seem to have a really good personal relationship as well obviously everybody would have seen the match room i wouldn't say documentary but the video of you guys going out for pie and mash together uh, amongst other just conversations we see you guys having around the gym how much has ebony taken to the gym and talked to them about the personal relationship you guys have built no we've, uh, we've we've got on really really well actually i mean it's been a uh, it's been a it's been a credit to have Ebony in the gym. Actually, she's a she's a she's a great student. She's a great student in the gym and of boxing. Uh, loves her boxing. We've watched countless uh, fights of the Mexicans, the Chavezes, and, and and people like that. You know, so um, yeah, we get on really really well. We just you know we get on well. But the main thing is is getting the job done and getting over our sessions and taking something from them sessions and them. them training sessions as in boxing stylistically and technique so uh, she, I, she, I think uh, I think that's what she likes she likes to learn she likes to learn and uh, I feel that we, we've, we've done everything we could do to, 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 to become world champion please God fingers crossed on Saturday night Mark, just one more, more fight on this card I want to get your thoughts on is Martinez Warrington too. Quite a few years on since I last shared the ring. Kiko Martinez just seems to get better and better. What do you expect to see in their fight on Saturday night? Quality fight, Andy. And do you know what? I, I'm really looking forward to that. But I'm looking forward to it, but I've had my eye on this job, on my own job. So uh, I'm just looking forward to it. What, what, what a couple of good campaigners uh, uh, Martinez and Warrington are. They're brilliant, brilliant uh, Brilliant fighters, warriors, yeah. Just get your thoughts as well on Johnny Fisher. How's Johnny doing and just a reflection on his last performance? Yeah, I was uh, I was a little bit disappointed at the time with Johnny Fisher's uh, accuracy of his offence. But um, we had we had to start we had stuff to work on that. The guy was twenty three fights in or twenty five fights as opposed to Johnny's uh, six fights. So he had a lot of experience over us and he never once uh, our opponent never once got off the right hand counter, which he's good at. And Johnny was Johnny's quite vulnerable to a right hand. He could have been because he carries his hand low. But we we, 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 we worked out a little uh, a little strategy. So I was happy he nailed that. He nailed that. He never got clumped by the right hand. But no, he's, uh, he got cut in the first round. In the first 30 seconds of the first round, he never once touched it. Never once moaned about it. So that was uh, that's what I want to see. Mark, in that fight, was Johnny at all feeling the pressure building around him? Because we know he sells a lot of tickets, there's a lot of expectation that comes with that. And 
maybe he didn't deliver the performance people would have wanted but in hindsight could that be a good thing because he will just manage some expectations around him because he is at such an early stage of his career I think it was a, a blessing in disguise and the thing is you know two or three fights maybe two or three years down the line he'll look back and uh, it's a little bit of a how can I say it it's a blessing because it's a, it's, a, it's a learning curve. I mean, he sells all them tickets, he's under pressure, but also it's a little bit kept him a bit grounded as well. You know what I'm saying by that? So, so he's got, you know, he's, he's, he's a work in progress, Johnny, and uh, he's a, you know, probably one of the biggest tickets, ticket sellers in the country. I'm sure he is. So he's got, uh, he's got everything going for him. He's a great student. I haven't seen him for a couple of weeks. He went on holiday in Mexico, but. My strength and conditioner, Sonny Cannon, has got him in now, so he's back in the gym and uh, he's uh, working on a bit of uh, fitness, a bit, uh, bit of building up sort of thing, and uh, hopefully he'll be out in, uh, in June, I guess, something like May or June. Yeah. Mark, away from Johnny, just get your thoughts on your old charge, Dillian White. Again, we haven't spoken since his fight with Tyson Fury was announced. What are your thoughts on it when he does eventually come round April 23rd? How does Dillian need to approach it in your eyes? Dillian needs to, uh, he's very strong, as we know, strong individual. He needs to, uh, he needs to get on the inside uh, you know, as quick as he can. Uh, he needs to get on the inside as quick as he can tra and drag in Tyson Fury into a bit of a dogfight. That's what he needs to do, yeah, manhandle, 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 nick stuff on the inside. But obviously he's, he's, he's dangerous at mid-range as well, Dillian. He's, he's clever, he's clever. But it's, it's, a, it's a tough fight for him as well. I've seen Dillian is very silent since this fight's been announced. As somebody who's worked with him for so many years as what you had, has that approach surprised you? No, no, it's not. It's not at all. Uh, it's not surprised me. I don't know what to think of it, really. You know, I don't know what to think of it. Uh, everyone's got their reasons, what they do for what they do, and you know, I'm not around him, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. Away from Dillian, just get your thoughts on one of the five heavyweight division. Obviously, we see the, the devastating situation in the Ukraine. Uh, obviously, thoughts go out to everybody involved there. But with the heavyweight division, Alexander Usyk, hearing reports that he may well be taking the Anthony Joshua rematch now. Oh, what is. is from the reports that have been said to Afghan? We don't know anything yeah. concrete yet, but it seems to be the way things are looking. If that happens to be the case, just what are your thoughts on, on that fight? Or would you still rather see AJ have an interim fight? with, say, a Joe Joyce or a Wilder or someone like Otto Varlin or a Luis Ortiz? I'd much prefer to see the immediate rematch. Yeah, much, much prefer to see, to see that. And this, you know, and it hopefully takes a different approach towards it this time. Uh, no, that's what I want to see. I don't want, to, uh, I don't want him. I think uh, you'll get, he could get lost if he takes other fights and it won't never happen. So I'd like to see the music and uh, AJ too, yeah. Mark, we'll leave it there now. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. I'm sure your fight is right in to get off. Thank you for speaking to me in Boxing Social. Thank you, Andrew. Take care, mate.